good morning. It is a little after 11.30 on a very windy late Thursday morning. It's in the upper 60s, I think, for temperature. And, you know, it's cool, not cold, but definitely not hot or humid or anything. So I'm just out taking a ride. I'm dealing with the wind because realistically I've only got maybe a month and a half left of this riding season. So I am bound and determined to enjoy today, wind or no wind. <laughs> so. had an interview this morning with a large hospital here in New Hampshire. Put in some more applications to other places in other states and just keeping my nose to the grindstone. It's all I can do. Just had a bathroom and lunch break. I hope you can hear me. The wind is a little bit obnoxious. But I am in Plymouth now and I think I am going to make a big loop and go out through Bridgewater and Hebron and Bristol, head out through Hill and Franklin, and then probably swing around through Tilton and um, head into Laconia and then come back out through Meredith and probably go home from there. So that, that's a pretty um, a pretty good size loop. Especially where it's so windy and to be perfectly honest, I a couple chills on the way into Ashland where I had my lunch break <clears throat> and I'm a little chilly again probably because I stopped but look at those leaves Leaves are turning. Yuck. <clears throat> There's some pretty sketchy looking clouds. Hopefully I don't encounter any green showers. So I really don't want to have to dig out the banana suit. The banana suit is 
a one-piece Oxford rain suit, bright yellow, probably seen it before. I'm not sure actually if I ever recorded myself wearing it, but that's what it is. Big old fluorescent yellow one-piece rain suit. <laughs> Actually, it might be a good idea to put it on because it'll keep me warmer, but... Like yesterday, I will probably get a little too warm and end up sweating through all my clothes, so I don't want to do that either. Then when I stop, I'll get really cold. So, feels good to have the sun shining on me, but when I'm in shady areas or when the sun goes behind the clouds, it gets rather chilly. Yeah, look at those clouds up there. Definitely don't want to be running into that stuff, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm... because I'm going to be circling around and heading south. stuff is all north, so. Buffalo Bills? Gonna shut this off. I have to turn the camera off there because traffic is a little bit tricky in downtown Plymouth, so <laughs> I acted a little bit uh, disgusted, I guess you could say, that that guy had a Buffalo Bills sticker on the back of his truck with New Hampshire plates. I guess I always find it a little weird when people like teams other than their home team, but people had their reasons, and that's fine. And who knows, maybe he was originally from the Buffalo area in New York, so... the past couple years without Tom Brady and now without Bill Belichick have kind of disenfranchised a lot of New England Patriots fans. Not disenfranchised, disillusioned.
that's understandable. I'm sorry, Mac Jones, but, well, sorry, not sorry, but you sucked, so. We're not a good quarterback. Hopefully this new guy does much better. I can't remember what his name is now, but. I think the Patriots won their last game. I actually haven't been watching them in the past couple years because I was disillusioned without Tom Brady. so great going south either. So, not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll decide once I get into Bristol isn't too far from now, too far from here. get caught in the rain, so... May cut this ride short today. There are a lot of dark clouds around, so I'm heading out of Bristol to New Hampton, and I'm going to probably just go through Meredith and take 25, take Route 25 home because I don't feel like getting caught in the rain today. Yesterday it wasn't really a big deal, but even though it was colder yesterday, but like I said, the banana suit keeps me pretty warm, so I just don't want to deal with the rain today, so That's the plan.
good morning. There's only a couple minutes left of morning. It's about five minutes to noon on Friday. It's a lot warmer today than it's been the past two days. It's it's about 70 something degrees today. Beautiful day, sunny. I've decided to explore some dirt roads. I'm about to leave pavement. Fairly soon here. There we go. There are so many people leaving grass clippings in the road. It really annoys me. But I realize a lot of people don't think about how dangerous that is for motorcyclists. Which is a little bit sandier than I would like. day. I decided to play around a bit on the dirt roads, not just 
for the practice, but because it's Friday and it's a lot of traffic out there. So I figure on a lot of these back roads, I'm not going to run into too many people. Look at all those baby birds. I think they were turkeys, but I'm not sure. Mother looked a bit small to be a turkey, but who knows. I'd forgotten there was this big stretch of pavement up here. But here we go, back onto the dirt. road is really narrow as you can see I know I could have probably just blown right through that stop sign, but I'll try to be as safe as I can be on two wheels. This is nice.
These new tires are handling the dirt pretty darn well, too.
Okay, I've had enough of dirt roads, at least for today. That last one I was on, man, that was nothing but loose gravel. I was sliding all over the place. This road is horrible. Needs to be repaved. But I'm glad to be back on pavement. Cows. What a beautiful day.
I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like, comment, share. You know the drill. And I will see you guys in the next video.